Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Hey there, in this video I'm going to be decluttering my pantry again. I know I only did it a few months ago, but we are in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic and we've been self-isolating at home and I've been trying not to go to the shops as much. That means my pantry is a little bit overflowing because I've been stocking up a bit more than I do usually so that I don't have to go and get groceries as often. So it's just turned into a real mess and I really need to sort it out. If you're new here, my name's Mel. I do a lot of videos about decluttering and home organization and helping you to simplify your life so I'd love to have you join this community if you are here looking for some help to declutter your home and just simplify. Okay so first up I'm going to show you what my pantry currently looks like and it looks a lot different from when I last decluttered it a few months ago. I'll link that video above if you want to go and have a look at that video but it is just a real mess. I need to sort out what I actually need to use up, what I want to just store as a little bit of a stockpile just in case but really in Australia our supermarkets haven't been too bad. In terms of fresh products and even some pantry staples it's not too bad. I have a lot of other stuff in my pantry that I don't necessarily need to stockpile so I just want to pull those things out, use those things first and then just organize and make it a lot easier to find things because my pantry is so overstuffed at the moment. I mean have a look at this it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean the anxious prepper in me is feeling really secure that we have enough if we can't get to the grocery store for any reason or if the supermarket runs out of stuff but the minimalist in me is absolutely cringing. It's silent now we don't say a word we're just looking at each other tears in our eyes from the words we said yeah it kind of broke my heart loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think i'm trying my best to hold on but i feel myself giving you know that we shouldn't keep it up like this we hurt each other's feelings on and on i don't want to change who you are the things you say is always one step too far but i know to hold up but i see you giving in you know that we shouldn't keep it up like this we hurt each other's feelings on and on Alright guys, so let's have a look what we've got here. When you pull it out of the cupboard, you can really see how much there is. Oh my gosh, there is so much food. 
we're definitely not going to starve anytime soon. <laughs> but I mean, it probably is more than we need, I'm embarrassed to say. But it is more than normal because, like I said, I used to go shopping at least once a week, if not more, probably two or three times a week. And I'm really trying not to go to the shop any more than like a week, week and a half. And some of these items like the noodles are hard to find and my husband and kids eat noodles nearly every day for lunch. Some of these things do get eaten quickly, others not so much and that's what I want to sort out. A few things on the other side of the bench as well condiments and stuff. I'm not going to show you what's in the fridge but I actually did clean out my fridge and I filmed it. It was part of my nighttime clean with me or clean kitchen at night video so if you want to see me wiping out the fridge and you can kind of see what's inside the fridge then I'll put a link to that video in the info card above so you can see that. So now what I'm going to do I'm actually going to turn the camera off because I need to move around the room and just sort out things into categories and sort out things which I think I don't really need to stockpile because there's plenty of them and things that I want to use up pretty quickly or first. I'm going to do that and then I'll show you once I've categorized everything before I put everything back in the cupboard. So here we go, I have now categorized everything a bit better so we can see what we're dealing with. So this is going to be what I put on the very top shelf of my pantry as kind of our emergency non-perishable stuff. This is stuff that I use pretty much on a weekly basis. So I've got stock and I like these little stock bullion kind of things that you mix into hot water because they take up a lot less room than just the big things of liquid chicken and vegetable stock. Coconut milk which I use for curries. I've got three cans of tomatoes and these I use in spaghetti bolognese. Beans, we pretty much have baked beans every weekend with eggs for brunch. Got some baby corn spears which I want to use up in like a stir fry or something. I think my husband bought these, I didn't buy these. So I'm going to put this in my meal planning pile over here because it's something I want to use up. One can of corn kernels because I use these in things like salads and soups and then some little ones sometimes as a side for something my kids are eating if they don't like the green vegetables that my husband and I are eating. Tuna, some nice soups for when the weather gets a little bit cooler. My husband bought for our emergency kit corned beef which I hate and spam and sardines which the kids and I won't eat so I've put this in the pile of stuff that needs to be eaten up because yeah I don't want to keep that in the cupboard. This is stuff that's been in the cupboard that needs to be eaten up. These vanilla cupcakes, something for me to do with the kids. I want to use up this crushed pineapple, I might make some muffins, I've got a recipe for that. Some sliced beetroot, I was thinking of making some burgers next week and that would be good to have with like cheese and sliced beetroot on burgers. My husband loves his cheesy rice but we've got a few too many of them so I'm putting them in this week's meal planning kit to use up this week. This is stuff that I should have tidied up a bit better. Gravies, tomato paste, miso soup and cup of soup, things that we use as dinner add-ons. This is my pasta stash and I'm planning on making a homemade mac and cheese this weekend. So macaroni is getting quite low here but I've got another pack here and then I've got some pasta spirals to make a pasta dish next week. That's gluten free pasta which we don't like very much but I'm gonna take one for the team and maybe make myself a pasta dish for lunch next week. Some baking stuff, icing and stuff. This is like my healthy kind of whole felt foods natural foods container. But it's things like a big bag of almonds to snack on, my pumpkin seeds, pepitas to put in my salads. I've got semolina. I actually um, did a story on Instagram the other night of where I use these to make roast potatoes and it helps give them an extra sweetness and a, and a nicer crunch as well. I think it's on my Instagram story highlights so if you want to go see that go check out my Instagram account. Coconut flour, some cranberries to stick on salads, um, cacao powder, quinoa to make myself lunch so this is like my healthy stuff plus manuka honey and this is like the kids honey and then we've got Vegemite, smooth peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter. Some sprinkles and frosting and things to make for when we bake. Some nacho chips, these aren't in the snack pile though because these, what I do with these original salted ones, these aren't the extra flavoured ones, I put these in the oven and sprinkle grated cheese on top and grill them and then we have them with a corn chowder. It's actually a Nigella Express from her Nigella Express book, Nigella Lawson. Taco shells, I have these in the cupboard because 
I'll cook a double batch of spaghetti bolognese one night and then the next night we will just put the bolognese into taco shells with some salad for an easy meal. So rice noodles, I put these in my wonton noodle soup when I make, um, when I cook my wontons that I make myself from scratch. Uh, more of the mac and cheese and cheesy rice that'll go in the pantry. This is the baking stuff and oh, a couple of snacks. So these are ice cream cones which we're trying to eat up. Uh, crackers, so whenever we open a pack of crackers to snack on, we put them in an airtight container. Caster sugar, not cashews, I need to change that label. Self-raising flour, plain flour, rolled oats. This is where I keep my basmati rice. My quick oats, I eat a lot of quick oats in autumn and winter. I make my quick oat porridge. This is my backup rice stash. And then there's a the microwave rice. Rice paper rolls. I need to put that in my meal planning kit because I've been in my pantry a while and I need to use those up. So this is sort of the use up pile. Okay, now this on my kitchen table, gosh, I know I'm going through a lot of food, but believe me, my family will eat this and we can easily just eat this up over the next three to four weeks and hopefully I shouldn't need to buy anything except for the fresh produce, milk, eggs and maybe a bit of toilet paper. Noodles, and we've got all different noodles. My son likes these Migoreen noodles. My husband likes the spicy migori noodles, the spicy like tom yum noodles, so these are all his. And these are just the plain like chicken, maggi chicken noodles that my daughter and I like. Um, mostly it's my kids and my husband who eat these and they eat a lot of them during the week. This is like our lolly stash. I keep a bag of chop chops in the cupboard and yes I do use them to bribe my kids occasionally. I actually found on top of the fridge these leftover sweets from Halloween which we need to eat up. And these are like um, a big jumbo bag of snakes that I found. It was cheaper just to buy the bigger bag and I've just been rationing them out whenever we have a movie night. Marshmallows that we need to use up. Some dried mango slices for a snack. Tiny teddies, only got three packets left. And then I've just got some of these biscuits here that my kids like. Brown rice crackers. My husband and I probably eat about two packets, two or three packets of these a week. So this is not a lot for us. Um, and crackers for my son, movie popcorn, and then I actually want, like this is the micro popcorn, but this is the stuff I used to pop in my ear popper, but no one in my family really likes the ear pop stuff, the taste of it, so I'm going to try and cook it in the pot with butter and oil and flavour it myself, and I think it'll be really nice. Muesli bars, my daughter eats these, she usually goes through a box every two or three weeks, and we hadn't had any for a few days, so I got a box of these yesterday. Chips for my husband and kids, rice crackers, that's more for me to have with like peanut butter as a more healthy snack. Uh, snack sized chips, I only bought those today, just for the kids, then I can control the portion size. And I also got them these healthy potato sticks this week. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. So much better. Oh my gosh, and everything fit back in. It's just so much more organized. I know where everything is. Some sauces, tomato paste, stock. I've got some noodles, uh, microwave rice, pasta in this white basket here. There's my rice, my oats, taco shells. These are all like my healthy ingredients. Here's my two lazy Susans and some other oils and condiments, vinegars, that kind of thing. Down here on the right um, are snacky things, so snacks for myself and the kids. Right at the back are baking, flour, rolled oats, that sort of thing that aren't used as often, so that's why they're at the back. Some cake mixes, my husband's spicy noodles, put my recipe books back cornflakes, the rices and the box of chips on top and here like all the crackers, the other noodles, popcorn and things in this container here. And as you can see I stand things up vertically so you can fit more in and then you can also more easily see what you've got. I'm really pleased with how this turns out. Now I know exactly what I've got. There's the emergency prep stuff up there. And then on my kitchen bench, I've actually got a little, little container to put this in, which I'll do now. Mm -hmm. I hope
hope you found this video helpful whether or not you're watching this during the pandemic or whether it's after the pandemic and you're just looking for some pantry motivation i hope that this has given you some inspiration and some help if it has please give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one bye